Hi everyone, welcome to this quick video on how to use gadgets in Windows 7 and this will also work for users currently on Vista as well. Um, I'm just doing this video because a lot of people ask me which gadgets that I use and um, where I get them from. Uh, so I thought I'd quickly do a video to explain and show that so a lot of people can also use the ones that I'm using. So using gadgets is really really easy in Windows 7 especially. Um, you no longer have this Windows Vista sidebar you just kind of plonk your gadgets anywhere now and whenever you start your computer up they will always be in the position that you just left them which is really nice so you can just organize it around maybe how you have your desktop as you can see because I've got the the car in the background I kind of have my gadgets arranged around the car so stuff like that um, you can just throw them wherever you want which is really cool now to add a gadget in Windows 7 all you need to do is right click on your screen and then go to the gadgets bar and this will bring up this box here for Vista users if you just go to your system tray down here and then you right click on your sidebar you can also click the add gadgets button there now you'll be faced with this screen which will display all your currently installed gadgets and gadgets which have been installed by default now just because they're displayed here doesn't mean they're obviously on your desktop all you need to do to put it onto your desktop is just go ahead, drag it off, and then it will appear. You can see that's one of the default ones, which is an RSS reader. Now, you only get a few default ones, like the clock, the calendar, the CPU meter, uh, currency exchange, uh, weather slideshow, and the picture puzzle. And you, But you can get more if you just go to this button here, the Get More Gadgets Online. So I'll just go ahead and do that and then you will get the Windows Live Gallery. So to get more gadgets, if you just scroll down a little bit and then click on this button here, get more desktop gadgets. And here we'll get the all the gadgets which have been made by people who submit their gadgets to Microsoft. There's 3,000 at the moment, so it should be plenty for everyone to use. Um, now here's the ones that I use and especially like to have on my desktop this is one of the most popular ones it's called the all CPU meter now you can see this measures CPU usage and also tells you how much RAM you've got left and it's in use over here as you can see it gives you a nice graph um, a blue line for your RAM and then obviously four different colored lines for each core of your processor going up and down so it's really nice just to see things going on because um, you might have a program in the background you didn't realize and your game maybe is a bit laggy and you, you think why is that happening so this is a really good program for that also really easy to customize you just click on the options tab here um, you, can ch you can change whether you want it to be a graph or a filled graph and you can change the background colors as well so it's really really simple I just like to have mine black um, another one I use this one here is called the network meter. Now depending on whether your network is wired or wireless, so depending on how your computer connects to the internet, if you're using a laptop you can most likely you're probably using wireless, you can download this wireless network meter or if you're on wired you can click on the wired network meter just down here. Now as you can see I'm using the wired one and it just gives you your download speeds and gives you IP, your IP address and your external IP address which sometimes it might come in handy and again you can customize that and change the colors now as you can see there are a ton of cool looking gadgets um, and they're loads and they're so easy to install now here's, here's one little helpful one you might find you've got a little shutdown gadget which can lock your computer or restart and all I have to do to install this would be to click download choose the install and then all I need to do <coughs> is open with Windows desktop gadgets but obviously I can also save it to a place um, for later if I wanted to install it on another computer so I just go ahead and click OK and then I'll click install and there it is it's positioned itself on my screen and gives me free options to shut down, restart and lock my computer. So that's really cool. Now if I wanted to get rid of that because I didn't really like it and didn't fit my desktop, I can just hover over the icon and click the cross button. And whenever I wanted to get it again, 
I just need to right click go to gadgets and then I found it there all I can do is to get it back again either double click it or I can just drag it off and I can even have multiple ones if I want there you go and finally another one I use as you can see this one here which monitors um, all my hard drives tell me how much space I've got left and also acts as a quick shortcut so if I wanted to go into my uh, movies hard drive I just quickly click there and then I get my movie collection up so this is really helpful and that one's called imps drive info so let me just quickly go and show you where to get that one from you click get more desktop gadgets go to the second page and it's in the bottom right of the second page again you click download install and then you open it and it will be installed and it's really great because you can add all your hard drives and you can just see what's happening at once and just nice to have um, things like that open instead of having to go to my computer and have a look at your hard drives it's just a nice thing to put on your desktop um, the other two I'm using at the moment are the calendar and the weather and they're just default and you can see there so they come with your Windows Vista or Windows 7 so, so that's how to use uh, gadgets in Windows Vista and Windows 7 if you have any more suggestions just give me a, um, a note in the comments section or send me a message ones that you really like what ones you use and maybe ones I've missed out and just let me know okay thanks guys check my other videos and also please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe every little helps and helps me to make some more videos if everyone wants them okay thank you